Sir, Junior Cadet Calixto explaining the three mandatory familiarization training or standards of training certification and watchkeeping. First is the basic safety familiarization, second is the ship specific familiarization, and third is the security familiarization. First is the basic safety familiarization. Training is to make the new crew aware of important safety procedures that are to be carried out on ships while working or during an emergency situation. New crew members joining a ship must be familiarized with their duties and important information about the ship. Um, uh, this, this is to ensure that the new people on board ship understand their responsibilities thoroughly before commencing their duties. It is the duty of the master of the ship to ensure that each new crew member is given proper familiarization training to ensure personal safety and well-being of the ship. So the master would desig designate a qualified person in charge of training the new crew members of the ship. Through all crew personnel joining the ship have to do STCW training. There are several, several specific instructions which are important for safe operations on ships. Second is the ship specific familiarization. Purpose of familiarization is to introduce new personnel to important safety procedures on board, emergencies, and proper use of ship technology. The main aim of the familiarization training is to make the crew the new crew aware of important safety procedures that are to be carried out on ships while working or during an emergency situation. It is the duty of the officer in charge of the training to train the new crew regarding instructions on solace and marple important features of master list. Guidelines on how to tackle all kinds of emergency situations on ships important documents and publication of ships, ship fire control plan, different types of firefighting appliances and procedure to use. The officer must also ensure that the new crew members know the following mission of life jackets and immersion suits along with the, with the procedure to wear the life jacket, location of escape routes, actions for man overboard situation, different types of alarms, on board ship, location of his or her cabin, along with the location of the nearest escape route and fire extinguisher, procedure for abandoned ship, alarm, his or her duties in the master list and during emergency situations, basics of fire prevention on ships, actions to be taken in case of medical, emergency before further medical assistance is received, Operation of fire and water tight doors fitted on ships, important instructions on various drills on ships, procedure to operate fire extinguishers, procedure to raise an alarm in case of an accident or emergency. Familiarization of duties It is a normal procedure on board ships that the new crew member will be given familiarization of his or her duties by the person who is being relieved. Familiarization training will include duties to be performed by the new crew member, specific equipment to be operated and maintained, ship specific watchkeeping duties, any particular instruction regarding machinery or ships parts which the new crew member should know. If the new member belongs to the engine side, he or she will be familiarized with a designated machinery, maintenance procedures, and watchkeeping procedures. Uh, in security, familiarization training is performed by the ship security officer or an equally qualified person and provide guidance for the seafarers so that they are at least able to report a security incident, know which procedures to follow, when they recognize a security threat, 
So all seafarers on board a ship shall receive security related familiarization training before being assigned to shipboard duties. So the training shall include the reporting of security incidents such as piracy or armed robbery, knowledge of procedures to follow when they recognize a security threat and participate in security related emergency and contingency procedural exercises. Such training shall be conducted by the ship's security officer or an equally qualified person and take into account the guidance given is in STCW code B section B B6. Records of such familiarization training conducted shall be kept on board under the ship's safety management system. The familiarization training is performed by the ship officer or ship security officer or an equally qualified persons and provides guidance for the seafarers so that they are at least able to report a security incident, know which procedures to follow when they recognize a security threat, and uh, take part in security related emergency and contingency procedures. These procedures should be included in the ship security plan and may also be included as part of the shipboard familiar familiarization checklist. So this is the these are the three familiarization training mandatory about STCW or standard of training certificate and watch keeping so first is the basic safety familiarization second the ship specific familiarization and third is the security familiar familiarization